Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome. I'm Charlie Slows, the radio voice of the Nationals. On behalf of the Nationals organization and the Learner Ownership family, we want to thank you all for being here this afternoon for this special occasion. And we want to thank those who are watching regionally on Masson, nationally on MLB Network, and from anywhere and everywhere on Twitter and Facebook Live. And to our loyal radio listeners on our home here in the nation's capital as well, 106.7 The Fan. It is my pleasure to introduce Nationals President of Baseball Operations and General Manager Mike Rizzo and the newest member of the Nationals, two-time All-Star, including this past year, this past summer here at Nationals Park, to the nation's capital, the newest National, Patrick Corbin. We'd like to personally welcome Patrick and his wife, Jen, to the nation's capital and to the Washington Nationals family. We will now present Patrick with his new jersey. Ready to go? Yep, we're ready. Well, thanks, thanks for everybody for being here today. Well, a big day here at uh, Nationals Park. I uh, couldn't be happier to uh, to announce to you uh, uh, the signing of Patrick Corbin, uh, the newest and brightest member uh, of the Nationals family. Uh, he comes to us uh, with uh, considerable accolades uh, and accomplishments, uh, but uh, first and foremost, the things we heard most and best about him is uh, the part of a team that he becomes. Uh, being, a, being a great team is, is uh, probably the best compliment you could ever have as, as a ball player, and he comes uh, highly recommended by many, many people in the game. I'd like to thank Mark Lerner uh, and Alan Gottlieb uh, and ownership for uh, for making this possible. Thanks for being here tonight. Uh, and uh, as you've heard me say many, many times, you know, uh, pitching is is king in, uh, to win Major League Baseball games. And uh, we couldn't be happier to have landed one of the premier left-handed pitchers in all the baseball in Patrick Corbin. Thanks, guys. Um, just. Really excited to be here. I'm um, happy to be a part of this organization, the Washington Nationals. I want to thank Mike Rizzo for the opportunity, the Lerner family. Um, was able to have dinner with, with, with you guys um, a week or so ago and um, just really understood this organization a lot better and how important winning is. And for me, that's um, always been a big thing for me to have the opportunity to compete um, deep in the postseason. Um, like the Thank my wife, Jen. Uh, she's been through a lot with me um, since I was drafted. So um, she's, she's been everywhere. So it's, it's great to have this opportunity to, to have a city that we'll be able to spend um, at least six years with. So excited for that. I want to thank my, my agent, John Courtright, for all the work he's done. Just hoping he can spend some time with his family um, <laughs> here and, and get some rest. He's been amazing throughout the whole experience. Um, would like to thank my parents um, for, for everything they've done uh, for me, too. So, um, And my teammates here. I'm excited to, to join a ball club and, and be a part of something special. I, I know this, um, this pitching staff here um, definitely was a, a big reason that I wanted to come here. So uh, I'm just excited to join you guys and um, glad I'm part of the family. Uh, thanks, Mike. Thanks, Patrick. Uh, we have microphones on each side of the room. I'll open up the questions for media. Just please wait for the microphone and uh, state your name and outlet uh, prior to asking your questions. So we'll start. Start with uh, far right. This is Chelsea from the Washington Post. Welcome to DC. What what kind of were your impressions of this organization before you had the chance to kind of speak with Rizzo and, and the Lerner family, and and kind of what do you see here now that you like besides obviously the opportunity to win? Um. We've, we've always loved coming here as a visiting team, coming to this ballpark. It's always 
been a competitive team that we've played against. It, it was always a challenge for us, and um, that's obviously something that we've looked for. And, and, and having somewhere where you can come live, and there's so many things to do in this city that, that we're looking forward to, um, to experience together. Um, and just for, for me to be a part of it is going to be really special. Hi, Mark Zuckerman from Masson. Um, you mentioned the desire to be a part of a pitching staff like this. You got two of them right here who are going to be with you. What have your impressions of them been from afar, and what do you think uh, you guys can kind of learn from each other and build off each other being part of a, a group like that? Yeah, I wasn't sure who was going to be here, so it's kind of <laughs> getting, getting to meet someone for the first time. Um, just watching them compete out there, I mean, that's a big thing. Max, obviously, the competitor he is. Um, Strasburg to, to see as well, and the other guys, too. It's um, it's it's going to be fun to, to, to learn from these guys. I, I've been fortunate to, to have Zach Grinke in Arizona for a couple years now and have gotten to pick his brain um, just sitting on the bench when I'm not pitching and, and also watching him perform. So um, being able to, to do those things definitely helps, and I'm always willing to learn, um, try to get better. And from things I've heard, this organization is, is willing to do that as well. Jamal in front. Uh, Jamal Collier, MLB.com. Welcome. Um, you know, obviously you had some kind of good years in the past, but last year was kind of a, a you know big step for you. Was there anything specific that kind of clicked for you, or just why do you think you were able to have the success you had last season? Um, I I'd, I'd credit it to multiple things. Um, I've always just tried to be as well prepared as I could. Um, try to pick up things every year. Um, I knew coming in, uh, I felt great that season. I was ready to go and um, try to just. I think the analytical part of the, of the game learned a lot more through Dan Heron, who, who was a big part of our starting staff over in Arizona, helped out a lot. Just knowing the right pitches to throw, when to throw them, uh, adding a, a, another breaking ball, changing speeds, being able to control my fastball and my slider. So um, just a combination of all those things, I think, helped. I've, I've had time at times where I've been able to do it. Last year was uh, just easier for me to be more consistent, I'd say and something I can continue to improve, get better um, as we go. Tom in the middle. Hi, uh, Tom Boswell from the Washington Post. Nice Hello. to have you here. Um, when you talked about adding a breaking ball, having a, a curve ball instead of the change up you kind of battled with for years, can you talk about Evolving and getting a, an off speed pitch that actually worked for you, and maybe a little bit about how you've used the slider so much recently. Yeah, um, I, I've learned a lot through talking with our hitters, and I've been able to play with one of the best in Paul Goldschmidt and, and, and watching some other pitchers in our division how a slower pitch gave, gave some hitters trouble. And um, it's, it can be a free strike early in the count or, or something you could um, just keep them off balance. And my slider has always been my pitch to. Um, that I've thrown um, to both sides of the plate to, to any hitter. So it's something I've always had. So it really helped just adding, adding that other pitch that I was comfortable throwing whenever. And, and fastball command has always been something that I've um, thrived on as well. So just a combination of all those. Chelsea? Um, this one's for Mike. Y you obviously talk a lot about you know, signings like these, it's it's about the person, not necessarily the the player entirely. And six years, you guys were the only ones willing to go to that sixth year and make that kind of commitment. What about Patrick? Did you learn in all your conversations and and when you studied him that made you want to make that kind of long term commitment? Well, you know, as we as we do with uh, anybody that we're uh, we're attracted to, as as far as their or their performances, uh, we uh, we we try and get in depth with who they are and uh, what kind of person they are and uh, I I've said many times that uh, you know when you're when you're doing these type of deals it's it's more about the person than it is the player uh, and uh, all our due diligence uh, led us to the to the uh, to the crossroads of this is a guy that we want to get to know better because because this is a guy that fits everything we're trying to do so uh, when we uh, when we started the courting process if you will we uh, we when we went out to dinner we learned a lot about about what their interests are Jen and, and Patrick and uh, and how we interacted with people and that type of thing and I think that uh, you know bringing this type of personality this type of uh, uh, attitude uh, 
is going to be important not only on the mound in between the lines but in the clubhouse in the community uh, uh, in, in that type of thing and <clears throat> I think it says a lot about who we are as a team that you have Max Scherzer, Jan Gomes, Ryan Zimmerman and Steven Strasburg at this press conference uh, because it's uh, it's something that uh, resonates to me personally and it shows the type of cohesiveness and 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 tight-knit group that uh, that we've become. Jesse? Jesse Doherty from the Washington Post. Uh, how much did the Nationals' aggressiveness so far this offseason factor in your decision, and particularly the two catchers they got? Yeah, that's, I mean, a huge part, signing Gomes and Suzuki. I'm, um, I've, I've got to watch them over the last couple of years, and it's just, it's a big part of the game. I, I had Jeff Mathis in, in Arizona the last couple of years, and he takes pride behind the plate and watching these guys. They do the same thing. and. I know I throw a lot of pitches down the zone that might spike or, or, or wild, but uh, those guys save me a lot. So, And just having confidence with them. Um, I like to go over a game plan before games and be on the same page. So when you're out there, um, there's no second questions. You, you have all the confidence in the world with that pitch. So. Jamal, your front. This one's for Mike. Uh, just, you know, as I mentioned earlier, uh, Corpus had some good years, but last year was obviously, obviously the best. What kind of gives you confidence that um, last year is kind of closer to the version of the pitcher you're signing and that you'll kind of get going forward? Well, we like the fact that, uh, you know, he's, he's several years past the Tommy John surgery. We've, we, you know, we've evaluated him as a, as a pitcher that, uh, that is, is learning his craft as he goes. He's a young 29 year old, uh, year old pitcher uh, with, uh, with uh, you know, great aptitude. Uh, you know, learning a pitch uh, on the fly isn't easy, as as these two guys uh, in the front row can attest to. But uh, if you're able to have the dexterity and, and the ability to learn new pitches uh, at at the major league level and succeed with them, that that tells me something. Athleticism really factored into into this uh, into this move uh, because we think that he's you know he's one of the more athletic pitchers in in the league, uh, and I think that that bodes well for longevity and and being able to st sustain your your stuff so uh, all those factored all those things factored in uh, we see uh, we like that the needles moving north uh, at 29 years old and uh, we, we like the fact that uh, you know uh, all the all the sexy stats as sure uh, as Mad Max says uh, you know coming to play strikeouts up walks are down ERA uh, you know all those uh, all those factors were are going in the right direction so we feel good about it boss I yeah, wanted to ask Mike and Patrick, were the last 24, 48 hours crazy, and in Mike's case, more crazy than usual? And on, following up that other question, you've been throwing more breaking balls since every year since the TJ. Is that because your arm feels stronger and you feel you can risk it more the longer you go? Well, yeah, the, it's uh, the process. The process always gets crazy, Boz, as as you get closer to these kind of type of deals. Uh, I think the you know the the craziness uh, question goes to you know John Courtright and myself because it, it uh, that's where uh, it gets a little anxious and a little and a little a little crazy and uh, and that type of thing. Ho hopefully, Patrick's just in the background, just knowing he's going to be somewhere where he wants to be. Uh, and John and I grinded it out pretty good to uh, to the last minute. Uh, was the breaking ball question? Yeah, I, I, I think my slider. I've I've thrown similar, maybe a, um, maybe a, a few more um, over the, the last year and, and a half. I'd say because um, I've added the, the slower breaking ball, and um, I th I think a lot of people are counting them as the same pitch. So I think the percentage has been um, kind of same to when I used to throw the change up a little bit more. So um, that's an, another pitch I'd like to um, add a, a little bit more to. To my arsenal, so. Um, yeah. uh, Mark, uh, back to Patrick. Not every free agent out there is going to go, kind of do what you did a couple weeks ago and go tour three specific places, meet with them in person, and all that. Why was that part important to you? And it's still early in the off season for a lot of free agents. Was it important to you to get this done quickly and not drag it on too long? I think it was just great to to put a face with a name, being able to meet these guys, see the city a little bit, get a tour of the ballpark. Um, I was fortunate to have a lot of great opportunities this off season, and I just feel like this is the best fit for for myself and Jen and my family to to be able to come in here, compete for a championship, and be a part of something special. Mike <clears throat> Barry Sperlinger from Washington Post. Um, you 
batted two relievers, two catchers, starting pitcher. Do you need to go to the winter meetings, or are you done? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know I love the winter meetings. I mean, that's, that's what it's all about. Uh, you know, the, the lobby in the winter meetings is, is a fun place to be. You know, we're, uh, we, feel, we feel good about the team that we have in place right now. The roster, I think, is constructed uh, in, a, in, a, in a good, coherent manner. Uh, I think there's a, we have a lot of strengths and a lot of flexibility that we didn't have last year. Uh, we've got players with options that, uh, that, that is important for us. Uh, uh, but, you know, we're, you never say you're done. We always want to improve. If, if, there's a deal, if there's a deal or a free agent that makes sense to us, uh, that, that helps us become better, we've always been aggressive. We've always had the resources to, to do those type of things. So I don't, uh, I don't consider us done at all. I, we're never done. Uh, you know, we, we do this thing. Uh, it, this is my job, Barry, so I like kind of do this every day, and we, we try and get better every day.